Hello and welcome to Ganesh Vishnu channel. So I'm giving you a little example on uh, that how we can find out the dimension if a condition is given to you. Let's say determinant of a matrix is zero, or something is given to you, and you need to find out the dimension of that particular vector space. So how you can do it? It's just a little example. So let's begin. You can see here you are given with a. Your vector space is x in the form of x, y, and z, and it is a three-dimension space where determinant of a is zero. Now, let's say v is in linearly independent. Then, what's the dimension of v? So, we know x, y, and z belongs to R cube, but what is the dimension of v? So, for that, because the condition is given, determinant of a is zero. So, let's put it as zero. So determinant of one 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 two two three x y z is zero. How we can find it? Let's say if we do c one tends to c one minus c three, c two tends to c two minus c three. What will you get? One minus one is zero. Two minus three minus one. X minus z zero minus one. Y minus z. So if you expand it. I I did it just to make the question easier. So if you expand it, let's say from here, so it would be minus y plus z minus x plus z equals zero, right? So it would be x plus y equals two z. Equation number one. Or if you solve it from here, what will you get? From row one, minus one. This is plus minus, so plus one, plus one, and thereafter minus y plus z equals zero. So y equals z. That's is that correct? So what I did, you know, the first element is plus. This is minus. This is plus. So minus of one. I expand it through c one. So minus of one. I hide this. This is z, zero, minus y plus z equals zero, and what else? Oh, this is left, x minus z. What's for this? Minus minus plus one. So, minus y plus z plus x minus z equals zero. Z is cancelled with z, so x is equals to y. So, your v will be in the form of. X, Y, and Z, but X is equals to Y. So let's say this is anything like in the form of M. So X and Y in the form of M and Z is there. So only this is dependent on only two variables. So the dimension will be two. Okay. I hope you understand this little example. And if so, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Till my next video take care of yourself bye bye